5,000 Naira national minimum wage was passed into law in February 2011. This was increased from 7,500 Naira. Seven years later, the organized labor say it's time for another increase. Now, there's been a lot of to and fro between the federal government and labor, and eventually, both seem to have settled for 30,000 Naira. But its implementation has been the running battle between the federal government and labor for months now. This is our big story on this episode of the program. You're welcome. I'm Ini John Mekwa. Those who was the I. Those against the name. The I is having. The legislative powers of the federal government of Nigeria are vested in the National Assembly. Item 34 of the exclusive legislative list under the 1999 Constitution as amended confers on the National Assembly the exclusive authority to legislate on labor matters, which encompasses trade union activities, industrial relations, employees' conditions of service and welfare, industrial disputes, prescribing a national minimum wage for the Federation or for any part of the Federation and industrial arbitrations. This is the foundation for the continuous talk of minimum wage in Nigeria. After the implementation of 18,000 Naira in 2011, it is yet another time to effect another change in the national minimum wage. And the organized labor, which includes state and federal government workers and industrial unions captured by the Nigeria Labor Congress, Trade Union Congress and United Labor Congress, started by asking for 56,000 Naira, while the federal government was proposing 24,000 Naira. Negotiations to reach a common ground started in 2018 with meetings and protests. is a ploy to deny Nigeria workers the opportunity to earn enhanced wage. And we will refuse it, we will resist it, and we will do everything within our power to ensure that indeed struggle and liberation come. From here we are going around Lagos to ensure that every institution is indeed shut down. Tomorrow if a port has opportunity to open today, I am very sure they won't open tomorrow. Nobody flies in this country. And I'm saying it with all authority of labor of Nigeria that we will do everything possible to enforce the decision of National Executive Council of all the organs and labor centers of this country. Solidarity! After these protests, labor and the federal government met on the 26th of September 2018, and both parties stated their terms of engagement. We normally use uh, uh, two days for the meeting, so we are convening the meeting on the 4th. Sure. And all the processes have been put in place. The labor leaders know, and they are now expected to communicate them to their organs. This is the first meeting we are having any information about what we have demanded for. Uh, also updating us on uh, what uh, they have been doing behind the scene. And uh, from that discussion, uh, clearly, because you are aware we are here in a representative capacity because the meeting also had to come up uh, in an emergency situation. We are taking back this information to brief our rank and file about uh, what the issues are. But our minimum demand is that uh, the meeting of the Tripartite Committee should be reconvened uh, without any delay to complete this assignment. And until that is met, uh, the position we have taken remains the same. And then the Trapatite Committee, led by Emma Peppel, started work and in November submitted its report. A draft bill to the President, which is to be transmitted to the National Assembly. One major success of the Trapatite Committee is that it was able to intervene between both parties and a common ground of 30,000 Naira was reached. And this would mean that the federal government 
would require about 12.9 billion naira to meet up with this new minimum wage. Since 2011, many changes have taken place. Nigeria rebased its GDP to become the largest economy in Africa. We reported very strong GDP growth rates and exceptional performance of our capital markets. However, these reported successes do not flow into the pockets and homes of majority of Nigerians. In the last three years, we focus on correcting this deficiency. We are working to create a diversified and inclusive economy. We are pushing to clear fashion areas, owed to our retired workers with the limited resources available to us. We supported state governments to pay workers' salary. And of course, we set up a committee in order to review the minimum wage of workers. In constituting this committee, we took into account the need for all stakeholders to be adequately represented. The government, the private sector, and most importantly, the workers. Our goal was to get an outcome that was consensual. Economist Bayo Rotimi has, like other Nigerians, followed the trend of conversation and shares the view of the organized labor. What should be uh, the minimum compensation uh, for people who offer their services? Uh, it is something that generates a lot of debate, not just in Nigeria, but all over the world. So it is usually backed by legislation. So we started off with the current rate of 18,000. But that rate has been in force for easily seven or eight years. You know, in between, we have had significant devaluation of the Naira. We have had significant inflation, which erodes the value of people's take-home pay. So the realities today now is that on 18,000 Naira, there is hardly anybody that can survive on that. So are we as a nation overdue for a review in the minimum wage? Certainly. So the question now is what will that number be? So that is why there has been so much controversy. Labor started asking for 56,000. We seem to be somewhere between 24 and 30,000. The minimum labor wants is 30,000. And government is saying maybe we can see if we can accept 30, if we have the capacity to pay. So there is a lot of considerations.